does anybody else, I really wanna know if anyone else is like this. So I like two styles of beanies. I like this style and I like a fisherman's beanie. Now, I wear a fisherman's beanie. I'll put it on and I'll be like, I like how this looks. Put it on, wear it for like, you know, two or three days. Go put it on for the fourth day and be like, oh, this looks stupid. I'm like, I can't do it. And then I go to this beanie, I'm like, see, this is how a beanie should fit. I put it on, da da da, and I like it. And then in like two or three days, I put it on, I'm like, I have a condom on my head. So I'm gonna start with the thing that I was just most excited for last week. <laughs> and that is new bedding. Now, hear me out, because I know that really shouldn't get you excited, but you hit a certain age where you start to get excited by these things, and I'm definitely at that age. And I finally invested in some like quality bedding, like bed sheets, bed spreads, or whatever they're called. I invested in some quality ones. Before that, they're all from Amazon or whatever, 20 pounds golden. Like, if you told me like three years ago, like to invest in like quality bedding, I'll just be like, no, it makes no sense to me. Where now, I don't know, you start to hit that age and you're like, nah, I need a, I need some quality bedding, I need some quality towels. Definitely makes a difference, like it, it honestly does. And yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the bedding I got. Enjoy this quality content. Sheets. This is from the brand, I think it's called Tecla. This is not sponsored at all. I paid the, what I would consider a quite hefty price tag for these. Everything all up, being completely transparent for one, so the sheet, four pillowcases, and the duvet set was like 400 pounds. But I have heard good reviews on this brand, so I did want to try to give it a go myself. I'm not normally one to go for color and stuff like this like before it was just always white and I do want to depending on like how I find these I do want to then order like a white slash sand type one they have a really nice just like kind of like beigey type style as well but I thought hey I really don't like how this is like the one room I haven't really decorated or anything or like furnished properly and there's not much I can do and I just didn't like how white everything was so I thought this was a good way to add a bit of color beta team let me know what you do think of the new bed sheet covers and also if you have any other recommendations of like other brands i should look at for my second set let me know so i was kindly and honestly very surprised to be invited down by prada to view their spring slash summer 2022 uh collection and this whole collection was like more inspired by like the outdoors and the beach and you kind of see those like colors and everything within this collection at least that's kind of how they described it to me but at the time they had described it to me they also offered me some champagne so <laughs> Every 
song in every wrong. So team, this is what I've decided to wear to this little Prada event. Keeping it kind of like casual, but just smartening it up a little bit with the loafers. The only thing that I'm not too sure on is, so this jewel sanded top is quite, it's like a knitwear and it's kind of fluffy-ish as well and so are the trousers that I'm wearing, but hey, I kind of just like how it goes together. Now all I need to do before I quickly go is just style my hair and then we will be good. I will make sure I link also, everything that I'm wearing right now in the description box down below, apart from obviously this Jill Sander sweater, because if you remember from one of the previous uh, London Diaries, it was from Vista Village and it was from an outlet store. So yeah, but I'll see if I can find an alternative for you. I think we go to the Prada store thing now. Should be interesting. Your old and every time I know the truth Speaking one way between me and you And I'm far on my own Swallow the song To serenade the ultraviolet It's all alone She knows everything there is to know And of course she does Clothing line updates. I had to write a little bit of a note on this one because it's honestly been a while since I've spoken about my clothing line and showing you updates and all of that. I think one of the things I'm finding very hard is working on something that is such a big deal in my life at the moment and takes up quite, like, quite a bit of my time and not being able to really talk about it or show it or anything like that. Like it feels so feels so weird, especially doing like London Diaries and showing you guys the ins and outs of my life. It feels weird not talking about it too much or showing it. So the conclusion that I've kind of come to is, and excuse my language, it's kind of just like, fuck it. Like I want to show you lots everything or at least everything that I believe you lot would find interesting because I think even though I've shown you lot little snippets here and there, I was definitely worried about showing you more in the sense of like showing products that aren't finished or first samples of products and maybe you lot getting like the wrong idea of what let's say the brand is or how certain items are because I'm not showing you a finished product where yeah now I think I'm just gonna like I'm just not gonna worry about it like I want to show you the behind the scenes of just designing the labels and thought process behind it and choosing the font and setting up the website and figuring out all these ins and outs, like, because I mean, it's such a big part of my life and I feel it would also be, I don't know, beneficial, I don't know, value to you lot as well. So yeah, I think now when I remember, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna start showing you lot like anything and everything. At least this will be in like the upcoming London Diaries. But what I can show you today is a first sample of the sweatpants that I've been working on. Now, there was definitely quite a few large changes that need to be made towards these, but for a first sample, I'm very, very excited for it. So, here we go. They gathered by the sea, sand people anxiously, not once did speak to me, when tides came did not flee. Spoke the same, had the same dreams, same pain and same feelings Staring at the sea and what was left of me Okay, so I know it's a bit noisy, but bear with me 
This is the first sample of the sweatpants that I'm wanting to do. High-waisted, relaxed kind of fit, but can still be dressed up and dressed down. You guys know how I kind of like to do it, but for a first sample, these are pretty good. So I've pretty much hit that moment again where I just really want to do a massive like wardrobe clear out slash declutter. Now, this is always like an interesting like time for me because you really get to see like one, what I've wasted my money on, to be perfectly honest. Two, how like your style has changed and evolved. And three, you get to share a good few tears uh, saying goodbye to some beautiful, beautiful items. So it is that time again when I'm kind of just going through my wardrobe and really just re-evaluating what I have, what I wear, and kind of just what really sits around. And this is kind of like where I've gotten to right now, being a lot more strict, a lot more firm, and yeah, I might just go through some of the items that might actually shock a few of you that I'm actually getting rid of. <sighs> Looks a bit wide, eh? <laughs> Boom, much better. Okay, so... I'm not going to go through obviously all the pieces like I did in a previous video. I just want to show you a few of the pieces that I'm getting rid of and to explain kind of like why. Let's just start with these straight away. Love these. <laughs> these are the Prada uh, monoliths. I think that's the name of them. When I first got them, I wore them quite a lot as well, even though they literally, when you look at the sole, look brand new. Uh, but no, I have worn them quite a bit. I really do like them. It's just, I've got... I, <laughs> It's just loafers, man. Lo loafers is truly where I just gravitate towards. And much as I like them, I just don't see the point in keeping them in my collection if I'm not gonna use them. It's sad to see, because I love the aesthetic of these shoes, but I have to be kind of like real honest with myself. And if they're just sitting around collecting dust, it seems quite wasteful. On the topic of that, if I'm being honest, I haven't 100% decided on getting rid of these yet because I love these, I just, I, I always go to like, if I'm going for something like this, I always go for like my Birkenstocks at the moment. And I don't know if that's just out of convenience, just cause they're always like right by the door, where if I feel if I put these by the front door, they would be them. Cause these Balenciagas in this uh, green khaki colorway are epic. But the reason I did kind of take them out was because I was like, oh, okay, you don't wear these, but I'm gonna still think about them. But that's kind of been my whole process with all this stuff. So they might not go up, they probably will, but yeah. Next, we have, kind of makes me sad to do this. We have Sanjeev's, Sanjeev's, that sounds weird. We have Sanjeev's um, first ever collection of his cargo trousers. Now these are insane. I think originally I copped them out of kind of like two reasons. One, to support him and his new collection and stuff like that. And then two, kind of out of excitement and stuff as well, where, the longer I had them, I realized, okay, <laughs> they're epic, but they're, they're just not your aesthetic. And I really do want to keep these because to me, it's like, yo, this is from his first drop. So there's a bit of this, I put it down to a little bit of a sentimental value uh, into these as well, because obviously he is one of the boys. But then also I'm like, man, these sold out. And I know, I know there's going to be someone out there who would really like to get their hands on these and would really be able to wear them. And again, to me, clothes are to be worn. So that is why I'm gonna part way with these just because I know someone else will be able to get so much more use out of them. Now next, I actually love these. These, if you remember back, are the en place uh, trousers. I have nothing bad to say about these other than they're the wrong size. So I haven't even worn them. They're still brand new to have on. Uh, I got them in a size two and I just wish I got them in a size three because they are, they're wicked. The color, everything about them is wicked and I, uh, I'm just gutted that I didn't quite realize at first that they were wrong because it's more just to do with my legs. Like they fit my thighs and, uh, sorry, they fit my waist and everything like that, but they're just a little, they don't flow as nice as I have seen them on other people. Then we have another pair of en place trousers in navy. These are the super wide ones. These are sick, but again, keeping it simple, short and sweet, a little too wide for me now, but they are sick. They actually go great with uh, like, tabby boots or loafers. I think it looks sick together. Then we have the bro Ray's uh, Manhattan one from his 
line. I love this. I was actually going to keep it as just like my just casual piece, but I've got just another green sweater uh, recently that I just do prefer the fit of a lot more. Mason Margiela, I mean, it's, it's really nice. I just don't gravitate towards it. I'm not 100% sure why, so goodbye. I'm actually trying not to like spend too much time on talking about the reasons why, otherwise I'll probably convince myself to keep them. Next we have uh, the Florence Black Cardigan. And this one's in the cream color. Now, I love the fit of this. However, I've got this in gray as well, and I always go towards the gray one over this, so I just don't see the point in having both of them. So I will pass it on to somebody else who will get more use out of it. But as far as the fit and everything like that, absolutely love it. And that's why I'm keeping the great one. And then another piece, uh, this is actually from our Magnus's collection, his worker jacket. This is so cozy, like so cozy. I love the quilt on the inside, but it's barely been worn because I do have another black jacket that I just tend to go to more than this. So. That's just a few of the items that you can expect to see over time. One thing like I tell my friends and even tell myself stuff as well now, and I don't know if I've said it to you lot before as well, but it's, it is okay not to buy every item that you'd like. I know how that sounds, but I mean, when you're into fashion like we all are, like you, you start to like a lot of things, but it doesn't mean you need to own it. Only own the things that you love and that you can see yourself wearing for a long period of time. At least that is my advice to you. Now I'll be the first to admit, I've definitely over consumed at times and honestly just like wasted my money, um, whether it just be through like excitement or trend driven things. But these days I find myself getting a lot better at making smarter purchase choices on items that I believe are going to like stay in my wardrobe for like such a, like a longer period of time. And yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Just got to get rid of you know, all the mistakes. Now, as far as where these items are gonna be sold, so some are gonna just be donated and some will be up on Depop and some will be up on eBloggers. Now, they're not gonna be up now or anything like that. They'll just be over time. I'll keep you updated like on my Instagram when things do go up. So make sure you are following there. Other than that team, I hope you did enjoy this week's London Diaries. I'm gonna try my hardest to get these to a weekly upload. Other than that team, enjoy the rest of your day. Keep dressing well. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. Oh, keep getting stuff done as well.